Good morning. Uh, the sun is coming up and I'm out in the garden so I thought I'd shoot just a very short garden tour. I do not look 100% today. I'm fighting a cold and um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to take you along in the garden and we're going to see where it's at. This is May, mid-May, mid-I, 24, 25. I don't even know what my dates are anymore. Um, the neighbor is having their roof replaced, so you're gonna hear that in the background, I'm sorry. I tried to shoot this video several days ago, and um, it did not, did not do very well. So I'm gonna try and do this now. Let's just flip the camera. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna see when you walk in, let me come out, is the clematis blooming so beautiful that's about as high as it's gonna get and it looks stunning this year um, right now I have not done anything with the bucket garden I am like kind of at my wits end with a lot of things right at the moment so I don't know if we'll be doing anything with this this year and I'm okay with that um, originally I had planted I had had this trellis in that back corner back there and had planted some seeds for some Parisian cucumbers and some cucamelons and neither one of those things came up so I made a decision actually I'll show you when we get back there what's going on in that corner I made a decision to move this up here this garden in the front in front of the crepe myrtles so the crepe myrtles are still in the garden this soil in here has been being developed for two years the soil is beautiful under this mulch um, the soil in the back is still being worked and so some of the things in the back are not doing as well there is butterscotch meow yeah she doesn't care okay so right here we've got in the pots are my blueberry bushes these are miniature blueberry bushes they are I've had these for two years I eventually want to put them in the ground but as you can see we're getting some blueberries I want to keep them in the fabric pots until I figure out exactly where I want to put them. These two cucumbers, or two cucumbers, yeah, those are tomatoes. This, these two, these two in the cages, and these two in the other cages are all uh, big baby, uh, big baby. They are baby boomer hybrids. These are cherry tomatoes. They are a determinate tomatoes or a bush tomato. We got some nasturtiums. So that anyways, I put the cages around these because I know from the past that they can get real big. I only had four cages. That's why the other two don't have any. Cabbages are still going strong. Um, I had planted some cucumber seeds here too before I had left on vacation and nothing came up. So again, I replanted, although I am finding volunteers which I'm wondering if these are cucumbers or squash or zucchini, I don't know. But the um, the cabbages are doing pretty well. It's still pretty chilly. So our sweet pea, sugar, not sweet pea, sugar snap peas are doing fantastic. They are starting to bloom. How pretty is that? Now they have like, caught onto each other. I would like them to continue to climb this trellis we'll see if they'll do that um, they have tendrils Let's see if you can see that they have tendrils these tendrils will attach to things and so if you kind of give them the opportunity to they will sometimes sometimes they're stubborn and that's okay um let's see I know I have some zinnias but they are they are over in the corner and now here is tomato alley I think that's what we're gonna call this tomato alley instead of tornado alley it's tomato alley um, so we have oh gosh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven types maybe twelve types of tomatoes in tomato alley um, Eventually, when I, what my goal is today is to get at least one set of these uh, pruned. They need to be pruned and they need to be Florida weaved. This is a Florida weave. 
Um, so what we do is we just take a string and we weave it in. Now, obviously this one got out. Um, I weaved them pretty young. This is uh, Abe Lincoln's. These are the tomatoes that get will get will uh, will get about two pounds um, a piece. Uh, the majority of my tomatoes are heirlooms. I do have um, in here like these are hybrids. Uh, they are berries, crazy cherry, and Brad's atomic grape. I believe those are hybrids. Um, are you flipping kidding me? Cat. Get, get out of there. Oh, that turd. She is using the garden as a toilet. <laughs> we have, um, oh, what is that? <laughs> Marigolds in the blue pots. I'm trying to go fast because I know no one likes to watch 20 minute videos. I like to watch 20 minute videos. Yeah, you do. But you don't have a life. Ouch. I'm just kidding. You have a life. We just picked that up yesterday. All right, so back here are my peppers. My peppers have not done well this year. Um, so my husband and I, we went on a vacation. He had a business trip and I tagged along with him. And uh, I planted things out quicker than I probably should have. Also, we did some, uh, we did, this bed is new and I don't feel like we properly prepped it. So we are getting grass in here like crazy. And I had wanted to do a set of cucumbers and stuff back here and it is just taking over. So it's going to take time to get this weeded back, but the pest pressure back here is insane and I, oh, here's some trash, Lucy. Will you take this and go put that in the trash? Um, I'm not real, I'm not real happy about what's happening back here. As you can see, like my, this is a big guy hybrid. Um, this is a large jalapeno that we love to grow because we can get lots of um, jalapenos at it. And we do a lot of uh, cowboy candy. That's like the signature dish in this house, apparently. I don't know why, but it is. It's delicious. That's probably why. Anyway, the pest pressure is like super, super rough on these back here. So anyhow, I'm kind of like rolling with it, seeing how it goes. We might do something different next year. I'm not real sure. The crepe myrtles, they are still here. Um, this one needs some tidying up on the bottom. But basically this is... This is a front yard garden tour. I could take you back around and show you the back deck and everything that's going on there. But my tomato, tomato alley is looking really wonderful. Um, we've got the cabbages. I put some chairs out here because Jess Soward says you need to have um, a chair in the garden. So it feels inviting. We are getting tons of little volunteers which I know those are either squash or cucumbers part of me wonders if they are spaghetti squash because we had that see there's another one right there that's a cucumber that's a squash of some kind not cucumber squash I mean well mm -hmm. so anyway hold on I'm gonna take you over all right so we're gonna go back up on here I've got some stuff on this deck in um, my green stock gardens and I'll just show you what what we have here So in this one right here, I have some Turkish eggplants that they are flowering They are oh, this is definitely setting some fruit. There is a um, lettuce leaf basil and I know I have another basil my basil did terrible this year um, That's a cinnamon basil. I believe back there. Whoops. Sorry. Well, yeah, I think that's a cinnamon. No, hold on. I actually have a tag. That is a Genovese basil. So no, it's not even what I thought it was. Well, there you go. Um, I have some extra tomato plants that I'm going to put in the bottom here and let, let them just go because um, I don't really have anywhere to put them. I hate letting them die. I might toss some, uh, there's a cute, there's a uh, 
toothpick my mother-in-law put in here so that we could clean out the holes for drainage. Um, I might throw some more basil seeds in here. I'm not sure. I gotta get that, gotta get that in. My mother-in-law and Lucy did this while we were away. Um, I had asked her if she would grab some flowers for me and plant them. She does, she arranges flowers beautifully um, in her gardens at home. And so I thought, what a perfect thing to do. And she did it for me. Um, they went to a local nursery here and grabbed stuff and it looks wonderful. I need to come out here and deadhead some stuff. The strawberries have been doing really well. We've gotten a lot of strawberries. They're starting to set off uh, daughters. We need to um, get them in some soil. Um, I just read recently that ever, ever, or ever bearing strawberries have like a four year shelf life basically. Um, the first year is their establishment year. The second year is uh, second and third are like their best years and their fourth year is a uh, dying year. I don't know the validity of that. However, I do know that um, we we love these. We just don't get a ton. Last year they, they put off a lot and then uh, some of the crowns died back. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll need to get, I was thinking about getting some more crowns. Um, but I also want to be real diligent this year in establishing the daughters. These put off runners. Let me see if I can find one that actually has like the root system starting on the end. And then you just put that in some soil and hopefully they'll re it'll establish and that'll give you another set of another strawberry set basically. So we've, we've enjoyed these. This was a gift from the neighbor, the strawberry crowns, and they have been, um, they've been really good. This is our third year with them. So the fourth year is coming. So I know I need to do stuff to make it better or get new ones. That is an, um, an abbreviated, an extremely abbreviated, uh, garden tour. Let me see if I can set you somewhere better. Um, that's an extremely abbreviated garden tour. We are, I'm busy out here working. It's nice and cool this morning. It has been cool all week. Um, but I've had a cold and I've just been kind of hunkering down. I haven't been feeling the greatest. Um, but the goal today is to get at least one set of those tomatoes pruned and weaved and then um, continue to plant some seeds. I don't have any sunflower seeds in yet and I'd really like to get some sunflowers into the gar into the ground. I, I'm probably late. I'm probably like pretty late on that, but I don't care. I'm gonna try it anyways. So um, yeah. So anyways, that's an update and that's what's going on here. We've got lots of things to do and we're trying to get prepped for um, a big party in a couple weeks. Our our oldest son is get, is graduating. I almost like getting married. No, not getting married. Um, he's graduating high school, and so we are having a big party, and we have lots of people coming in, and I'm just um, behind on getting some stuff done, and I need to get this garden taken care of so that it doesn't go out of control like it did last year, and then I can't catch up. So. All right. I hope that was, um, I hope that was fun and I hope you guys are having a great summer and I'm hoping to continue to give you better updates in the future. So thanks for hanging out with me.